Welcome back, wild things. This cleansing bath ritual is about renewal and washing away what no longer serves us. I'm indulging myself during the last full moon of the year, welcoming 2022. But this ceremony can be adapted for any time you wish to feel renewed. To work this ritual, find some alone time. I'm taking advantage of the December full moon, but the winter solstice or New Year's Eve or New Year's Day would also be auspicious. The most important alignment is to find a time when you can be free of distractions. To that end, turn off your phone and leave it outside of the bathroom. You want to plug in to source, not the interwebs. Clean your body before you begin, and be sure your bathroom is also clean and tidy. This includes getting the mundane bath accessories out. The mood we're setting is best with a physical space and body already prepared for lavish attention. Sitting in a messy room in a warm stew of your own dead skin and sweat and whatever else oozes out of your body is not necessarily conducive to accessing spirit. Transform your bathroom into sacred sanctuary. Zhuzhing it up like an ancient temple sets both the space and your mind for the ritual. For me, a dark room full of candles is the best vibe for a magical bath. My lavatory is poorly laid out. The toilet is right next to the tub. Ew. So I'm making the best of a bad architectural design and temporarily converting it into an altar for more candles. Don't get too elaborate with this though, unless you have another toilet in the house. Just saying. It can be helpful to place crystals around the tub. I'm using a piece of sardonyx for sorting out positive change. And then blue calcite, celestite, blue beryl, and apatite. These stones all carry a host of associations, but blue stones in general work with the higher chakras, the mind, communication, intellect, intuition, and are healing and calming. Also, I just really like the color blue. Select music or meditative sounds ahead of time that put you in a meditative frame of mind. With the bathroom converted to sacred luxury spa, shut the door and run the water. As the tub is filling, melt a couple of large spoons of honey into the stream. Then add your salts, herbs, and oils. I prefer Himalayan pink salt for this, and I'm throwing in some black salt for absorbing any negativity. Just be sure the black salt is food grade. Oatmeal is nourishing for the skin. I've ground up about one quarter cup. Essential oils are, well, essential. I'm putting in several drops of lavender, rosemary, and a lemon for an effervescence of flowery cleanliness. Finally, drop flower buds and rose petals onto the water. The type of flower is less important than how they make you feel. For me, roses are my birth flower, and the daisies are a clean white foil to the red of the roses. I didn't want a botanical rainbow for this, but you might. Select whatever flowers make you smile or feel good in alignment with your goals for the bath. Before you finally step in, incense or sage is good to purify the room. But be careful, most bathrooms are cramped, so don't overdo the heavy particulates. 
I have some super short incense sticks a friend gifted me and these are perfect for small spaces. Now ease yourself into the tub. Relish the scents of the warm water and the perfumed, steamy air. The dark, the flame, the sacred space. As you submerge and meditate, form a list in your mind of things that no longer serve you that you wish to wash out of your life at this time. It needn't be a long list. You need only to define what it is you're now letting go of. Then take that list and imagine it all moving outward from inside of you and working its way out through your skin. Stress, trauma, agitation, it all gets stored in our cells and marrow. We don't need it there. Release it. Let it be free to leave. See it, feel it, easing outward as if pulled by great magnets or a reverse sense of gravity around your body. Let it move naturally and surely out through the dermis like a good sweat. Once the unwanted residue is all out of you, wash it off with a loofah or a scrubber that you've dedicated to only use for magical bathing. Gently scrub your skin and let the unwanted exuant slough into the water. Newly clean and fresh from the inside out, use a vessel of milk to anoint your body like a Sumerian goddess being washed for the dawn by her votary. Let the room temperature liquid flow over your skin and consecrate you. Honoring your body like an ancient temple idol ignites in you your sacred self, awakens the part of you that is and always has been divine. After the milk, douse yourself in wine. Your soul remembers the goddess within. Activate her. Let her breathe. Finally, submerge yourself in the sacred waters. Hold there for a moment. For when you emerge, you do so as more completely your best self, the version of you you enjoy being. Congratulations, you are renewed. You are better ready to greet a new year and whatever may come. Sit in the purifying waters, revel and luxuriate in what you've done. Finally, step out of the water Let what no longer serves you slip down the drain. Stay put and watch it go. Don't re-enter the mundane world until you've fully drained the bath. It's important to watch all that you've sloughed off slip down the drain. But use a colander before letting out the water. Clogging the drain isn't going to facilitate this process. A drain strainer is a good idea if you have one. 
Of course I don't. Drain clogs averted. Sip some wine to consecrate the ritual and be present as the water and all that you've let go of flows away down the drain. What you're letting go of may have served you once, or it may have been undeserved trauma and you serve it best now by not passing it on. Whatever it is, it is no longer inside of you. Okay, bye bye <sighs> This has felt so good. So resetting. I'll be stepping back into regular existence soon, but I've enjoyed sharing this ritual with you. May we all have joy and growth in the year ahead. Many blessings, many happy returns, and always, always, keep it wild. You need to go. Come on. Stop yelling at me. Don't back talk. You said you'd sit there and you didn't. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> 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 Literally the driver. <laughs> I love how you crack yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> hey, you know, at least you can entertain yourself. Watch out for the flame in your ass. Good. <laughs> okay, one more time. You missed your mark there. It's that black spot. This? Yes. Did I miss it? Yep. That, so the purple one has to be right there. Yeah, right here? Yeah.